My name is Bradley Holmes, and this is my calling. I got my call to ministry in between my sophomore and senior year of high school. I was born and raised in a Christian family. I went to the same church my whole life, so I had a super solid spiritual foundation growing up. But I remember from a very young age, just feeling a little bit different. Looking back, I, I think that this was sort of an anointing that God had placed on my life from a very young age. Um, but at the time, I didn't really realize that. More often than not, when God tries to use something for good, uh, the enemy obviously does the exact opposite. Where God had chosen me, um, the enemy tried to make me feel like, you know, I was different and um, just all of these negative things that I, I struggled with up till my sophomore year of high school. I remember that day in particular, I was walking down the hall and I was just yelling at God. I was so angry, so uh, just in despair about the things that were happening at the time and just everything that had led up to that point. And I remember as I was walking, I was just praying and I looked up like this and I said, God, what do you want me to do? Turns out that's a pretty dangerous question to ask because in the next moment, the Holy Spirit came over me and spoke to me in a way that he had never done before. It wasn't really an audible voice, but it was very, very close. And what God said to me in that moment was, stop. It kind of freaked me out because I had just been yelling at him the minute before, uh, but I obeyed. I, I stopped right in the middle of the hallway and God said, look around you. So as I looked back and forth, I saw people that I had known for so long. In that moment, God sort of changed my vision. I didn't see them the way that I had for so long, but I saw them the way that God saw them. I saw their hurts, how they were struggling with many of the same things that I was. And in that moment, God spoke to me and he said, they're hurting, Brad, just like you. They need someone to show them the love I have shown you. And that was it. From that point on, um, I really had a huge change in perspective. I, I started leading people more. I, I started team prayers through my, my sports teams and Bible study and just different things like that. Up till my, uh, my senior year, summer before, it was really a slow progression of events that God began to speak to me and I started to get the idea that maybe I was supposed to be a pastor. The summer before my senior year, I was going to a college-aged, end of high school ministry type thing. That Friday night that it, it took place, I remember I was driving home, I think, to then go to this ministry. I was just praying again. I said, God, you know, if you want me to be a pastor, I'm gonna have to go to private school and go into debt and all of these different things. And it's just, it's not gonna work. And again, in one of the clearest voices, God just said, don't worry about it. Don't worry. And I was like, well, whatever, we'll see how this goes. That night, I remember I, I spoke at this ministry just like maybe a minute or two up on stage. And my youth pastor at the time and my sister were both present. They both told me later that without talking to each other, they both felt in that moment as I was on stage that they were supposed to tell me I was supposed to be a pastor. The following Sunday, uh, my uncle, my great uncle, who was dying of cancer at the time, super godly man, he, he sort of had this um, near death experience where he was just, I remember my aunt said he was looking up and in an instant he just looked at her and he said, Sharon, Brad's gonna be okay. She called me that Sunday and explained what happened and she said, does that mean anything to you? And of course I knew right, right away what it was, but I wasn't ready to admit to anyone anything. So I was just like, oh, I don't know, that's kind of weird. <laughs> this thought popped in my head and I said, hey, Aunt Sharon, when did he say that? And she said, oh, I think that was Friday night. It was just really cool to see how three people in my life all at the same time had this divine sense that I was supposed to go into ministry. From that point on, you know, I, I just said, well, God, if I'm truly gonna be okay, if that message was from you, then I will do it. As of right now, I just graduated uh, with my bachelor's degree um, in Christian ministries. All of my concerns have been dealt with so far. I'm debt free. I'm uh, just preparing for the next phase of um, ministry schooling. 
and everything that I, I was worried about, God has taken care of. It's so cool how when God calls you to do something, he always equips you and walks alongside you the whole way.